Guys, uh, this is Taryn. I'm just here to talk about some of the things that uh, has been going on recently. At uh, so at uh, BlizzCon, they announced that we're getting some class changes, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know exactly how well those are going to go. We're going to kind of chat about that a little bit here, just to see, you know, what do we, what, what would, what would I like to see happen? What do I think is going to happen? Uh, things like that. And uh, this is coming. This is being recorded uh, a couple hours after they just did their uh, their little Q and A thing that they did. Um, quite literally, nothing said of value. Um, they said, as far as specifics, um, the X point, the seven point X point five patches will likely be uh, class changes, not tuning, um, which is numbers, but actual mechanical changes which is kind of cool um they i mean there, there was nothing of value really uh said there other than artifacts are basically a mess uh which we already knew so um just kind of going over my thoughts uh the only factual thing that we have going off of is an interview that um i believe it was Sloopbag did with one of the main devs um, that Drained Soul is now going baseline, which means, at a minimum, we have that to go off of, which is kind of cool. Um, so, kind of looking at what, um, what do we have? What do we, what are we, what are we looking at for, um, for this? So, uh, on our tier 15, we know Drained Soul is going baseline. So, that, that talent is gone. Um, if you look at all the Warlock specs, the tier 15, one of those talents has to deal with uh, shard generation in some way, allowing you to gain a shard or spend less shards in some fashion. Um, Shadowburn fills this role for Destro. Um, the Dreadstalkers, called Dreadstalkers for free, fills that for Demo. Um, and Drained Soul is what did that for Affliction. Now, if that's going baseline, I would imagine, unless they're doing a complete overhaul of that kind of core design i don't uh probably something is going to get rolled into shard generation uh the first candidate i see that going into is haunt um i could definitely see haunt giving a soul shard after it is applied basically i mean at that point it basically becomes Shadowburn, which is kind of weird but i don't know um i don't know what else they would do in terms of shard generation that should be interesting um, maybe increasing the no, I mean, like, you can't even make uh, Agony Shard Generation any better either, so um, that talent is gone away I have no idea what they're going to put into that location right now um, so that, that's that's kind of the only thing we have to work off of um, things that I am hoping and me, myself and just about everyone are hoping is um, frankly that Soul FG goes away and and the reason why i'll backpedal a little bit affliction right now has two major issues you have a lack of on-demand burst cooldown of any kind well your your on-demand burst is not very on-demand it requires ads dying you need to have an rng third resource that has pulled up enough so that you can use it and we're frankly balanced around us being able to have a lot of these things so they're not really a burst cooldown i'm talking about things like dark soul that we used to have we don't have that we, we don't have that doom guard you don't even have a doom guard right now because you take supremacy because it is infinite more uh, not infinite more damage it is more damage um which means you're not taking service, so you don't have the service cooldown on top of that either. So, like, we don't have any on-demand burst cooldowns. Uh, the other thing is our ramp-up time is actually the worst of any spec right now. Um, it takes... We, because Agony, uh, Writhe and Agony is the talent to do, you have to wait for 20 stacks of Agony, which takes about 30 to 40 seconds, depending on your haste and legendaries. Uh, and that's bad. Um, it means that it takes 40 seconds, on average, 35 seconds for us to be dealing maximum damage, um, like, period. So, the thing that I'm really hoping they look at is ways to solve that. Uh, number one, I want to see, um, I want to see Writhe and Agony provide half as many uh, stacks, and I want to see Agony stacks also cut in half. So, I want to see the base agony at 10 stacks 
deal the same number of damage at five stacks and that is the new cap is five stacks of agony the other thing is i want writhe of writhe and agony to only provide two or three stacks so if we go up to eight so it is going to deal less damage with this change but i feel that writhe and agony is entirely too strong of an ability um maybe they balance it around so that this maybe a new eight stack or ten stack of agony is the same as the 20 stack change it around um but agony is literally one of the main reasons why our ramp up time is so large and that that needs to just be cut in half if not more um haunt is an interesting thing um haunt has the I would like to see Haunt to be used as an ability for us to get dots onto a target quickly. Um, one of the things that I've been preaching for forever is Haunt provides um, the maximum stacks of Agony, uh, and basically the max all of your dots with a maximum stack of Agony um, minus UA, which means you get all three dots applied with one global cooldown or all th two or three if you have siphon i'll get to siphon in a minute but it gives you all two of your dots like just boom right there um so that kind of helps with some of the ideas of improving our burst um things that i would like to see i mean just about everyone would like to see is soul effigy uh burn and die because it is it is such a pain in the ass to play with the problem is is uh with that is i um I see the devs just sticking to their guns on very strange mechanics like Fury Warriors take bonus damage. So I see that and I think that uh, Soul Effigy is not going anywhere. Um, and if that is the case, um, I would personally like to see Siphon Life going baseline um, so that we have that all the way always uh because frankly right now siphon life is about an eight to nine percent damage single target damage increase anyways uh more on multi-target as well and that is a that's that's huge for a talent um most of these talent trees with that level 60 generally it's either 45 60 or 75 for most all talent trees across all specs is you have a row where you have a single target an AOE talent, or a single target talent, an AOE tar talent, and then something else that's kind of cool, which is what we have in the level 60, which is Siphon Life, Sow of Seeds, and then Soul Harvest. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, generally in those setups, though, the single target talent is much weaker than like a almost 10% damage increase, uh, generally 5 to 3 even at times. It is an increase in single target damage compared to the AoE talent, hands down, but it is not, you know, this big, huge thing. So, um, I would like to see it go baseline, and there is, um, I would like to see something similar to Eradication attached, uh, for, in its replacement, attached to Drain Life, um, and have it last for four seconds after the most recent tick. I think, I could have sworn that, um... I think at one point in time we had something kind of like this back in like BC or something. Um, but I would like to see um, for the next four seconds after every, after every drain, it'll, it'll refresh itself after every take of drain life. But after four seconds or for, for the next four seconds, you deal 5% bonus damage to that target. Um, the, the reason why this is a nice mechanic at least is it allows you really good players. You can, um, toggle drains between two targets to amplify all of your other dots on them and there there it raises the overall skill ceiling the other, a lot of the issue people have with affliction right now is it is just a very i mean on single target even on two target you're just kind of just you just put your dots up and then you drain and that's it um and adding ways to do that uh, or to to fix that would be awesome um I would like to see Malefic Gla Grasp return baseline as well. Um, Malefic Grasp was uh, every time your uh, Drain Soul in last expansion, every time your Drain Soul ticked, all your dots had an extra tick. I would like to see that return, and I would like to see it... Um, I would like to see those dot ticks 
have a chance to proc all the things that it can. Um, and then after this, I like with that addition, I think you could almost nerf Soul Effigy's damage to, to 15% even. Um, the reason why Soul Effigy is so mandatory in just about every case is it is the only way for us to have any resemblance of shard generation on a single target fight. So it's very required in that sense. So I would like to see it go away, or not necessarily go away, but I would like to see other mechanics take that place, uh, baseline, ideally, so that Soul Effigy is not so mandatory. Uh, Soul Conduit is like, you just can't pick it up. You're either getting Soul Effigy or you're getting Phantom Singularity um, in a couple of cases. But... Um, Kind of, kind of bouncing around here, but uh, these are these are things I just I don't see Soul Effigy going away. And what I would much rather see is a stronger baseline mechanic take its place to improve our shard generation on the single target, so that you're only taking Soul Effigy for the bonus damage and not the chance to deal or not not everything that it provides. There's also some really weird mechanics with trinkets where Soul Effigy is kind of the only way to reliably proc things like Bow of Corruption on a target other than um your compounding core procs um there's a bunch of, bunch of stuff you can read about that in the discord but um so it, some of these other things just kind of need to get smoothed out so as far as row by row talent uh, tier by tier um haunt i would like to see we'll, we'll go through all these haunt i would like to see that apply dots um Nice. Just edit that out. Um, so going row by row, I would like to see Haunt apply all of your baseline dots that you have available outside of EA. Um, and that, that allows you to provide for one global cooldown. You unload all your dots, kind of like a soul swap, um, uh, uh, an SS soul swap back, in, back last year. Uh, our last expansion applies all your dots in one global cooldown and then you can just go into that target um, that would be very uh, I think that would make haunt actually very viable in a lot of dungeons it would make it viable in a lot of fights like um, uh, Ilganoth oh it'd be so useful on Ilganoth you just are able to you just you chuck a haunt you chuck a UA two UAs and you drain every target that you're trying to kill and that's all you do that's the i mean that's that's your job that fight you maybe throw a couple of extra agonies around for the shard generation because agony deals shit damage up until like 12 seconds in uh, or 20 seconds of it ticking so you're able to just tunnel and it allows you to specialize into uh to allow you to just tunnel a new target when it's needed um that's kind of the the point of these talents is to allow you to do to change how you play your class depending on the situation so um tier 30 uh if mana tap could um be deleted from the game i would probably celebrate um no one likes to play with uh buff talents like maintain this buff for 15 seconds uh every 15 seconds it's just really stupid to play with um so i hope those that goes away as far as the other two, I mean, those are fine. Those are just f stand out. AC, AC is like probably one of the best examples of this. Like, you pick this to change the way you play. So, um, the tier forty five talents. These are uh, these are a mess. Um, we need to have Shadow Fury back. Get rid of Howl of Terror. Uh, we need we need to have Shadow Fury back. And if you're gonna have Mortal Coil. It needs to deal a bucket load more damage, give us a bucket load more healing, and actually work on things that are immune to fear, uh, to the f disorient or the the fear horror whatever it's called, um, like that. Uh, that needs to go. And demonic circle, you basically as of right now of uh, recording this, it's basically you have this thing that you used to have for free in a row where no other talents are good so of course you're gonna get that so i would like to personally i would like to see demonic circle back to baseline and then something that either 
after you circle, you get bonus movement speed or something. I don't know. Um, it may, maybe this row just needs to be entirely like it needs to be just a burner row. Uh, so, uh, so tier 60, uh, I kind of had some voices. I want to see siphon life baseline. Um, I think that the fact that the affliction warlock has baseline the same number of dots as a shadow priest when we are the dot class, the uh, specialization is a little weird. Um, I would like to see a baseline of siphon life. A lot of the times, like in multi target situations, you just don't have time to put it up anyways because you're trying to make sure because UA has a higher damage per cast, and I think, and you got to maintain agony. And uh, so when you're in on like a six pack, I mean, you're not even casting it anyways a lot of the times. So uh, it would be good. I think it would do a lot to the breadth of the warlock or of the affliction warlock to have that baseline so the seeds don't touch it don't touch it my god do not touch it uh soul harvest needs to have a baseline of 20 seconds um and possibly even five seconds per agony um and and this goes for all the other specs five baseline of 20 seconds and a bonus five seconds per doom and per immolate because this is just silly um that you can get maybe 20 in like really weird situations you can get 26 percent uptime or 26 seconds on it maybe um and that's like never that doesn't ever happen normally it's like 16 to 20 um so baseline of 20 seconds on soul harvest and five seconds per dot that is up and it will probably have some use some use because as long as the other talents are kind of balanced around that um tier 75 um frankly uh, uh i know i'm gonna be kind of weird weirded out for saying or people are gonna be weirded out for saying this i think just tier 75 is fine um and here is why uh you have three essentially defensives burning rush i consider a defensive because it removes uh slows from you and basically levels your movement speed to zero to a baseline of 100 percent um which is very handy on a fight like scenarios when you have two sisters up and your room raid is running around like walking around like retards and you're actually able to still run very helpful um demonic skin is the thing that people need to keep in mind is it's an upgrade from soul leech so it gives you a passive uh shield regen whereas soul leech only you, you only got the shield when you dealt damage the other thing is uh demonic skin is only five percent more we do not lose 20 percent damage reduction uh, effective health was with when you don't take demonic skin we lose five five percent so keep that in mind um dark pact is an excellent damn good cooldown um you can soak like on elganoth you can soak three pools with just dark pact popped like i mean that's awesome that's such a good such a good ability um so tier 75 is in my opinion it's fine it's the tier 45 needs to just uh, make them more of offensive abilities or something so tier 90 uh this is a mess um sacrifice needs to have its proc rate increased from where it is right now i think um the rng level on it is just it's just too low um grimoire of service is okay the demons need the the baseline demons need to have a, a buff in my opinion for affliction and uh kind of for destruction uh much more so for affliction and supremacy so the issue i have overall with the demons for destro and for affliction is they really don't do anything anymore um when you pop a doom guard cooldown it's just about as weak as it was back in the six four six two three six two four era like it's like an extra two to th like three to four percent damage overall that's it so um 
if there's some way to make them interact with each spec individually as a cooldown, that will, like, I mean, that'll change things drastically. Like, every time a Doom Bolt hits, all the dots tick for 20% or 40% or some number. All your active dots on the target tick. Um, that, like, that makes you think, how do I... When do I want to pop Doom Guard? How do I pop it? Where? How do I make sure I have maximum uptime on my UA and everything else that's rolling? How do I make sure that these are the most powerful dots that I can have for that duration? So things like that are, are really helpful. Um, and then that can carry into Supremacy. So maybe the Doom Guard itself doesn't deal as much damage, but it has this buff like all the whole time. So it's like, okay, how do I make sure I maximize the uptime throughout the whole fight when I do this? Um, Infernal, there's, I mean, Buffett say we, I don't know, um, uh, maybe have it, uh, maybe have it extend the duration of, um, Corruption and Immolate, maybe, I don't know. Um, I think that those two demons, since they are cooldowns, they need to do more stuff. So, um, as far as sacrifice, the other thing that needs, I mean, we need to have those sacrifice, um, the the abilities back when we use sacrifice like the the interrupt are uh maybe not the bonus cooldown make up something new for the void walker i don't i i, I mean i really don't know what else uh, what you should be but something even maybe a mini shield like t for five ten seconds we get we have a, a bonus 20 percent um uh, shield or something like just something small but the fact that we, with one of these specs, we basically don't have an interrupt as a pure DPS class is silly. <laughs> it's just bad. So, um, so level one hundred again. Uh, Soul Conduit. It. Uh, I mean, it really just needs another ten percent chance to proc, in my opinion, for it to be really good. Phantom Singularity is frankly great as a talent. It is. I mean, it does some awesome AOE. Um, it is a little bit of a trap though. I know a lot, I've seen a lot of people spec it on things like dragons and you can't really, can't get, can't, you, you really can't get a lot out of it on dragons. So, um, uh, frankly, even more damage. I don't know. I think it's, I personally think it's fine though. And then effigy, I really want to see, um, damage on, uh, I want to see that single target shard generation come from something other than effigy um and then that way you can just drop effigy's damage down to frankly like 10 to 15 percent range and it is no longer this mandatory be beast it needs to be something that is about five percent more damage than soul conduit on a single target and even in with two targets um and i think that at that point like I think that the, the spec will get a lot of oomph. It will also get... It also goes back into... It helps a lot of the other issues that people have with the spec. I mean, there is just some major hostility towards Effigy. Um, and there's one thing that uh, has been brought up a lot is replacing Effigy with Malefic Grasp. And the reason why I say that is a terrible idea is because why would you spec into anything other than Malefic Grasp? You could... I mean, there's literally no reason to ever spec into something that is not Malefic Grasp. Um, so I think that it needs to... Um, I I personally think that it just it needs to stay, but get neutered. Um, so that it is maybe a... Like I said, maybe a 5 to 6% damage increase. Um, and Soul Conduit should be 4 to five on a single target s s case and go from there um so that's kind of my thoughts on talents i really don't have much of anything pvp wise to give an opinion i just don't have time for pvp um but i think that a lot of these there's there's some room for them to change stuff and i really hope that they take the right path in this so uh let me know you guys' thoughts if you have something to add let me know i'm always i'm hanging out on the discord when i'm not at work um yeah let me know what you guys think uh thanks for watching